All right, we're sitting in a great and powerful 1993 GMC Safari van. This applies to uh, the mid 90s to early 90s anti-lock brake systems for General Motors. So, you know, Chevy pickup trucks, GMC pickup trucks, Astro vans, all that had an anti-lock braking system. And when you turn it on, you can see there's a brake light. That means your brakes don't work. And there's an anti-lock light, which means the anti-lock feature on your brakes don't work. So a lot of people will get one of these cars, you know, they'll start it up. Both lights come on while it does a system check, and then the anti-lock brake light stays on. Now, number one, that doesn't mean your anti-lock brakes are working. I thought that that was just there to be friendly and tell you that the anti-lock brakes are working, but what that's telling you is that they don't work. But when General Motors invented their anti-lock brake system, I think they knew they were gonna screw things up and that it was a, a kind of a first attempt. So what they did as a safety feature is they built it so that if the anti-lock brake system stopped working and malfunctioned, the rest of the braking system would work just like a non-anti-lock traditional braking system. So bottom line is if that light's on and your anti-lock brakes aren't working, your car will still stop just fine. It's just that the wheels will lock up if you stomp it all the way down to the ground. But uh, you're not really in any danger. It'll work just like any car that didn't have anti-lock brakes until you get the anti-lock system fixed. Now I did pay a guy to try to fix it and uh, he you know, did, redid the brakes, bled the system, did everything, and it still didn't work. And, and he said that these systems are really finicky and kind of hard to fix and not very good in the first place. I don't know if he said that just to as an excuse or if that's really true, but I've been driving this car fine for 13 years with just the regular brakes, and, and I don't see it as any kind of problem.